You're currently headed to the site of Rosewood. Enjoy. It's still here. It's crazy. I just, I can only imagine what this place was like in its heyday. They used to actually advertise it as a resort, like a getaway for, mostly they targeted women who were quote melancholy or as they would call it now depressed. It's sad, man. Like they played it off like it was a good place, you know, for you to come rest and rejuvenate. But in reality, most of those women ended up being sold off into slavery. So this place has a very dark history. Lisa's getting ready to turn on the spirit box. We are at a rest area in North Carolina, pretty close to the Virginia line though. Um, we're getting ready to head out. We both got about an hour of sleep here. We do enjoy the rest areas for that. They are generally pretty safe. They usually are police patrolled. So um, that was nice. And then we just both went to the bathroom. All right, so it's saying we still have 276 miles, which translates to four hours and 58 minutes, just under five hours. So that's not horrible. We've been trucking it, guys. We didn't do a whole lot of filming. We did do the live stream for about two hours last night. Actually, this morning, I guess, because it went into, I don't know, it was probably almost two o'clock when we finished our live stream. It was pretty crazy, right? And then I drove for several hours and then we stopped at south of the border. So um, we did make a video. We did make some film. We did film there. Filmed at south of the border oh, a little yes. bit. And then that, um, was cool. that was cool. So it was uh, nice because it was nice because it was lit up. It was very lit up. It's almost like a miniature Las Vegas between the Carolinas. There goes those log cabin homes. Those are so cool. I'm always intrigued by those. We'll get one of those built. Wouldn't it be really cool to have a log cabin resort, like a real log cabin resort? Oh, with everything, like right. little log cabins, that'd be so cool. All right guys, so we are super, super close to the Virginia state line. And for all you guys that know your geography, you know that that's only one state away from Maryland. There is the Virginia Welcome Center sign. It's saying that radar detectors are illegal. However, this car actually has one built into it. So, what are they gonna do? Does that count? I don't think so. So guys, I just wanted to share with you real quick. This is the Love's gas station. And I just wanted to show you all the fresh, healthy options that they do have here. Some of this stuff is like prefab. But, you know, they do have like yogurts here and cheese sticks. They do have um, juice, like healthy juices. Uh, one of the things that we've been getting is the hard boiled eggs. That's a great option also for diabetics, just so you guys know. We have been getting some fresh fruit. They have cantaloupe, honeydew. This is a different one. We haven't been to this one yet, but they're all pretty much the same. They all have the fresh fruit options. They all have the hard boiled eggs as far as I have seen so far. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So here is a good look at all the fresh fruit they have. They got pineapple here. They didn't have pineapple at the last one. Last one we were at, I think was in Georgia. Maybe South Carolina, I don't even remember. Um, yeah, so they got the cantaloupes, the honeydew, and they do have watermelon, but that is kind of sparse right now, but it's really good. This is the best watermelon that I have had in a really long time. So just keep that in mind if you're traveling and there are any Love's gas stations, be sure to hit them up. What you doing, Lise? She's fixing up those, those serious. bug spots. There's still one there. You missed a spot. Serious. Squeegee. Gotta give us some elbow grease Where now. What are you doing, little Athena? Athena, where are you, princess? It's says sleepy princess. I think you would be sleeping beauty today. Check it out, guys. This is the, I believe this is the Potomac coming up here such a cool bridge all the different bridge structures and man it's a pretty high one too this is 
I don't know what these are called, but I call it the sail. The suspension uh, is very, there's only so many of these bridges in the country. Is that true? Yep. Look, here's the river over here. And here's the suspension. It's so cool. Wow. Look at this view. I know, isn't that gorgeous? Here. This is beautiful. This is the pretty. Gorgeous. This is the pretty view. Why declare? I'm a declare. I've been down south. 177 miles left. 177. Yay, and only three now, hours and 20 minutes left. I think the total was close to a thousand. Yeah, it was like eight something, almost 900 miles. So we are doing amazingly. The time is now 11:11, and that is the time of angels. I think you're up on that bridge. <gasps> like City of Angels. They were on the beach, but I think they were on bridges too. Yeah, they would. They would stand on bridges. Too. I love that movie. It's very good. I would change the ending personally, though. Yeah, I agree. The ending always broke my heart. But enough about that. Enough. About that. Let's continue on our journey. Hi, yeah. princess. What are you doing? Up. Oh, she laid her head back down. She is. She says, "I'm sleeping." What does it look so like? So happy. Don't bother me. You can see in a car for <laughs> Athena! As if Athena is not spoiled enough, I'm about to give her a treat. Another one. This is her third right now. Good girl! You're being so very good. So, so good. Yeah, you sure are. Thanks for being such a good girl. Athena! Where are princess? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that one more time. That was pretty funny. You have to do it with me. Ready? Athena! Where are princess? Where there'll be it. I was thinking there might be a delayed reaction because sometimes with Simon it is, but. Simon! One more time. Athena! Now? I guess the first time was a charm and this is... Oh! Jasper? Oh, sorry. Oh. What's up, guys? You guys are being very good, too. And so are you fishies. Look at Athena. She's got so much milk bone in her now. She's just yawning, yawning, yawning. Good girl, Thien Thien. You're a very good warrior, princess. A very good one. And you're a very good driver. We just made it through the DC. Does that make us warrior queens? Warrior queens. If she's a warrior princess? Yes. Yeah, every princess needs a queen. Oh, that might have been Jasper. Jasper learned that from Simon, apparently. Say, warrior queen. Warrior queen. Jen won't give me anything to eat. Wow, I told you, I tried to give her a milk bone, but she wasn't having it. <laughs> Too many carbs anyway. Athena got more than I got. Treats. Kind of have to pee anyways. So I think this is a nice place. I think it is, yeah. This is the nice welcome center. I remember coming here before. It has a nautical compass oh. on the floor inside. Remember yes. that? Oh, wow. This is crazy. I am not going in here, though. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it for another, stand up a minute. another three hours. Yeah, Jen, this is the queen of holding it. I don't like to do it, but I don't want to. Mm -mm. I think we actually did a live stream here before. <coughs> What's this? What's this? Warrior, <coughs> Warrior princess? Warrior <coughs> princess! What's she barking? The people. Uh, she's guarding <coughs> the She's a warrior, I told you. <coughs> Y'all didn't believe me. She ain't having it. What? <coughs> <coughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Like Look at that face. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, that's something you don't see every day, Lise. I mean, well, I take that back. When you live in Florida, you see a lot of crazy things. But we're not Florida anymore. And yet, we're seeing some crazy things. Now, my question is, how many hours did we get of sleep? 
pretty much won't. Well, I slept through South Carolina. Okay, I'm saying like we actually stopped this. Oh, what was that? One hour? One hour, if that. The rest area. One hour, if that. Because we are trying to book it, guys, so we can get home. I'll just call it North Home and South Home. Yeah, North Trying to get North Home and, um, you know, we have our babies with us who are just chilling back here. Dean, what you doing, baby girl? What you doing, sweetheart? They've all been so quiet and just behaving themselves. Every once in a while we'll hear a peep from Jasper and Cy back there. But the fish, I haven't heard I haven't heard anything yeah, from the fish. They've been the best. They've been so quiet. Okay guys, so we just made it to the restaurant. Uh, we're at Buffalo Wild Wings currently. We are absolutely exhausted. We've been traveling for well, been on the road for a little over 14 hours. It was about 930 miles from Florida to Maryland. And we got home, we unpacked our pets, we cleaned up the house a little bit, you know, because it's been just kind of sitting there for about a year and what, a couple months. Uh, I mean, my mom's been there, she's been checking on things for us and stuff, but uh, got some showers, made sure all the pets were situated and happy and headed out to get some dinner because guys we were starving how do you feel after sitting in the car and you drove most of the way like i drove maybe four hours yeah i think you drove the whole state of south carolina all right so i mean i was exhausted because let's face it we got an hour of sleep the whole way in a rest area <laughs> in a rest area but the pets were amazing like they were really quiet the whole way i was really happy with i was so impressed so we're gonna enjoy our dinner and wind down then i think we're gonna go home and sleep till tomorrow <laughs> oh. it'll be nice to see our family we're gonna see some of our family members tomorrow looking forward to that um please continue to keep happy in your prayers guys okay guys we are currently headed to the site of rosewood it's actually a, what do they call it? A mental institution? Um, initially, they took women in for melancholy. It's still here. Like it's still here. It is all here. Look at this building Oh, here. man. I don't remember that building. It's not where it says Ivy all over it. I don't. I hear a train. I do too. Not far. Look at that building, it's just covered. I want to go in there so bad. That's his fence say. Rosewood Lane. Permanently closed to traffic. 2009, wow. wow. It's been like 2009 sitting like this. I guess, is that when they closed it down maybe? Maybe, I don't know. It's not that far so back. so sad. Well, this. There's a car up there. Where? Up there, isn't there? Yeah, I see a silver car in front of this building. I do know if you get close, they do have security. So here's what it looks like, guys. It's crazy. I just, I can only imagine what this place was like in its heyday. They used to actually advertise it as a resort, like a getaway for, mostly they targeted women who were, quote, melancholy, or as they would call it now, depressed sad man like they, they really did like they actually they played it off like it was a good place you know for you to come rest and rejuvenate but in reality most of those women ended up being sold off into slavery as a domestic like uh i guess like a maid but they were actually sold to the highest bidder it's pretty sick so this place has a very dark history Man, I wish we could go back there. All right, so Lisa's getting ready to turn on the spirit box, guys. We'll ask a couple. Let's just ask a couple questions. I'm gonna just point you guys out here so we can keep an eye on the building. Okay. Who's here with us? <laughs> I wanna talk to someone who actually came here to Rosewood and was sold into slavery. Can you talk to us? <laughs> 
blood. What can you tell us in one word about this place? Bad. Trapped. Wow. One word. That's horrible. I'm so sorry that you went through that. It sounded like they did some horrific things here to people. Are there any bodies on the property? There's a, I believe there's a cemetery here. Is there a cemetery here? Is it in, is it behind the main building? Did you want to leave? Yes. That's so sad. It really breaks my heart. I'm so sorry. I got a lot of talk. Wow. Something's hurt. Did your did your family know that you wanted to leave? Leave. Leave. Did, did any of you ever get to leave? Scheduling? Weird, weird I know. It, it, it really makes me feel sad. Don't you feel like they're that eerie, like yeah. heavy? Yeah, Have, very heavy. heavy. Yep. Thank you so much for talking with us. We really appreciate it. We'll try to come back again soon. They're very talkative. Guys, look, I think I, I'm pretty sure that's where they used to cremate bodies. Wow. You would think if they had a cemetery, you would be able to go in because relatives visit cemeteries. Not here. Right. We need an ATV so we could go right up there. Look at that place, man. Maybe that building was No. That was the main house. Oh. That was where the patient stayed, I think. Oh. Look how nice it was. Look at the roof. You're right. Look at that. It looked beautiful back in the day. There was stained glass and like. No, actually, the main house, I think they said burned down. Oh. But this, like this I can't like... remember what this was. Hmm. I wish I could talk to somebody. Okay, guys, so we are currently at Sweeney's Tavern, which is located at the Farnsworth House in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. We just ordered this delicious looking chicken pot pie with pumpkin flavors. What is the one thing that you're upset about? I am sick. Because they don't have any powdered sugar left for the pumpkin fritters. I'm going to have to take them home and put my own powdered sugar. Yeah, you definitely have to adorn the pumpkin fritters with powdered sugar. They are so good. It's like dessert, guys. Now, even though Lisa has diabetes, the powdered sugar doesn't count because it's a must-have with these pumpkin fritters. Well, the pumpkin is a vegetable. That's true. So how is this chicken pot pie? I think it has those, um, what's it called, like flat dumpling noodles? Yeah, it's noodles. Mixed Egg in. noodles. Mm -hmm. So Lisa's already dug into her portion of the chicken pot pie. I'm getting ready to try mine now. That's actually it half looks as fantastic. Good for me. That's enough for me. And I'm I know we don't have our powdered sugar, but I'm gonna definitely have to try one of these pumpkin fritters. So it looks like this is a Union soldier standing here in Sweeney's Tavern. He is quite the tall soldier for backup. So here is the little garden that we showed you guys in the live stream. I'm gonna go back around 
and show you the beautiful koi here. There they are. So beautiful. Very peaceful out here. That one is gorgeous. Look at his long flowing tail. Looks like a, a bridal dress train. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh my goodness, look at this one. That must have been the one Lisa was talking about. I didn't even see him earlier. Wow, that is like the King Koi. There's another one back there. It is multicolored. Very pretty. Here he comes. Look how big he is compared to those other ones. What? At least he's friendly. It's not bothering them. And here's the waterfall over here, guys. I did find some steps for you. I would worry more about the algae than the steps though. Yeah, you're right. Here she comes. I got this. Out of, she's stumbling out of the tavern. <laughs> What's happening? I do my side step. Let me see it. Okay. You've done it. Sun's out now. Sun's out, guns out. Look at this. Is this a money tree? It, because it looks like a money tree. It does. See how it's knotted like that? Like the braid? Right. Isn't that cool? There's the birdhouses, guys. Let's see if any birds come out. Where? Look how cute. He's sticking his head out of the the kitty cat. Hell yeah, cold cats and kittens. It's all the fresh cut fields out here, guys. It smells so nice. Got your Civil War fencing back there with the little crisscross posts. Sometimes you actually see horses back there. They do horseback tours, which I would love to take Lisa to do one day. How would that be? Hmm. I haven't ridden a horse since I was thrown. <laughs> so I think it's time to get back on that horse. Get back on that horse, right? Look at this amazing view out here, guys. Also, there's some cannons for you to look at. Probably deer back here and stuff, I bet. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that sky. You can see Liberty. Uh, Ski Liberty. So guys, let's talk about this area right here. One day, we were doing a live stream. And the live stream, while we were live, just started to repeat itself and repeat and repeat and repeat. And it just kept repeating things that I had said. We were back here live streaming. Lisa was in the car. I was over there near that rock wall. And I was talking. And I could actually hear it. Like it was like it was was stuck on repeat or something. Like it just kept saying the same word over and over again. And I'm like, what the heck? I had never experienced anything like that before. Uh, and I never have again since. So I'm going to have to. What I'll do is I will actually share that live stream. Uh, in an upcoming post so that you guys can go back and watch that you have to see that it was crazy I still cannot believe that that happened I've never seen anything like it so I will be sure to share that with you guys Actually, I might share it on Twitter as well I'm hearing all kinds of sounds here in the woods hear that I might go back there. I'm gonna go in there. Can you tell us what's in the woods? I am. Did it say I am? I am. Right there. Right where? Me. Can you make a sound in the woods? Can you make a sound in the woods? Can you 
goes. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Listen. Those leaves are moving over there. Why is this on again? Find out what's going on over here, guys. Hello? This is where it got a little shady last time. This is where I always want to get back here to this trail. And I can't figure out where you get on the trail. has to be away. This would probably be the easiest way. But I really don't want to crawl over these rocks because you know, this is part of the Civil War. Like This is part of the history and I don't want to damage anything. But right here, this is where it uh, started going crazy with my live stream. Lise, was that you? Lise? Yeah, I thought it was you, but it wasn't. What? Trying to figure out what these are. I'm not too sure, but if anybody knows, leave it in the comments. I'm curious now. Here in the floor, so I came down. So see this? I want to show you something else. It is so hot, it feels like Florida. That's poison. See the red leaves? That reddish right there on the wall, that's poison. This one, yeah. this one right here? This one? <laughs> Hello, who's this? <laughs> Who was moving these bushes earlier over here? <laughs> Can you make it blow again? Oh, there it goes, like right there. Thank you for doing that. Are you a soldier? <laughs> Can you make that noise for us again? And then all of a sudden there's a loud bird. Is that you? Are you, are you the bird? Yep. Thank you for making yourself known. We appreciate that. Do you want to show yourself to us? There are so many sounds all around us right now, guys. But there's nobody around us. Like, it's just us right here. So, whatever we're hearing is most likely supernatural. Supernatural. 
So guys, this is actually super common, especially in Gettysburg, but I was just walking right down this way and I got a big whiff of cigarette smoke and there was nobody around. So like I was saying, the whole smell thing happens a lot here in Gettysburg. We've gotten everything from baked goods when we were trying to speak with Jenny Wade to cigar smoke to cologne. We've smelled cologne here before, gunpowder. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. Interestingly enough though, because I'm allergic to cigarette smoke, it didn't bother me because it's not real. <laughs> you know what I mean? It didn't. What do you smell? Yeah. A different smell, yeah. It's tobacco for sure. It doesn't yeah, smell like smell pipe or cigar. No. It smells like tobacco. It yeah, just smells a little I different. It's probably it. what it used to smell like. Now I don't smell it. Past the cannon. Is that crazy? Probably they're smoking near the cannon to light it. Yeah, probably. It wasn't gunpowder. That was definitely tobacco. 